Welcome friends to the eighth path video for using Gen AI on investing. If you have not watched out the earlier seven parts, please do check them out for better understanding of the future videos. We have now been seeing the capabilities of uh, ChatGPT, and now I'll be uh, showing you the image recognition capacity of uh, the Gen AI models, and also just give you a brief of how and where this will be useful. Now I bring to the screen a picture which I have made from my uh, other notes. This is a word file of Howard Marks memo and this is a photograph. It's a, not a screen grab, it's a photograph from my camera made on a laptop screen. And this image I am going to upload in chat GPT and request you to extract. So let us see how well it does it. So as I told you in my last discussion, you can upload the files from here. I'm uploading this image. Now I'm going to tell the task to this image. Have some notes. Kindly extract the text to be pasted, to be used in a notepad. So let us see how the output comes. So now we have the extracted text. So this image was about um, second level of thinking advocated by Howard Marks. So it has done a good job. Like this is related to the previous idea of successful investing means doing together better than others. How can this better doing come. So let us compare this with the uh, source image. By comparing, I can find that word to word without mistake it has extracted. That's an amazing text recognition capacity. Yeah, it matches. Word to word, it matches. So you might wonder where this will be useful. I have seen uh, during discussions or presentations of other investors, we just tried to make some photograph of the presentation shown. And over a period of time, that photograph gets buried somewhere. So instead, you can use this capacity to Extract the text and put it in a notepad or your one one note or a word file, whichever you feel is right. So it's not only it recognizes text, it spars amazing even to recognize the images. So let me take one live example. To be frank, I am testing it live. I don't know how that outcome would be. I think recently Natco Pharma is a news post their results. So let me go to screener, pick up Natco Pharma. And I will bring their complete chart from 2006. This image, I'm going to put it to the model now. I have no, I'm not indicating what is this image. I'm not indicating it is having the 50 day and the 200 day moving averages. Let me see how the model responds. This. Okay, I'm pasting this image. Please analyze this image and let me know your findings from this image. So I have not told anything about whether it's a technical chart as well. So let us see the output from. Wonderful, wonderful. So it says that it's a company listed BSC. It has a 50 day, 200 day moving averages. It is talking about some long term trend. Okay, it explains what is that 250 day moving average. It also talks about the recent market correction. And you see, interestingly, the price has dropped sharply below so and so and is approaching the uh, death cross. They call it as death cross when the um, 250 and the 200 day moving averages cross over. It's called a death cross. 
it is very clearly telling that it is approaching. So let us check that out. Support resistance, conclusion, all that. So let me go and just see the one month average. Yes, the tool is very right. Gray color line is the 200 day moving average and 50 uh, orange color. If you see here, it is in the verge of crossing, but it is not yet crossed. The beauty is even when the chart was having almost 18 year data and towards the end, neither the 50 day or the uh, 200 day nor the daily price chart lines are clearly visible. There's a complete overlap you can see. Only after I zoom into a one month uh, value, I could see the difference. But still, on uploading a 18 year old, uh, 18 year complete data, the tool was able to make out that it is approaching. It is not even telling it is crossing, it is approaching the death cross. So you can you can just estimate it's a wonderful uh, image recognition capability of the Gen AI model. I didn't tell anything about the image. It made out that it has the 50 and 200 day moving averages and it says it's about to approach. Now you can engage more, you can ask more questions, you can engage more and then find out uh, inferences from these charts. So first we saw the text image recognition. Now whatever is there in the image it can interpret and can give complete inferences. So let me try one more example. I just pick up uh, VST Industries and there is a Bollinger Band. Bollinger Band is my one of my favorite indicators. So let me take as much data as possible, maybe from 2016. Let me take this image and see how the tool responds. So in this case, on the left hand top corner, you can see it belongs to VST Industries. So whether the tool recognizes it, let us check. Analyze this, analyze this image and share your inferences. Excellent, excellent. You can see it has found out that it belongs to BST Industries of, and it's a Bollinger Band. Then it explains what is a Bollinger Band. It also sees that it can see dividend events and some trading strategy suggestion it's giving. The wonderful part is just you loaded the image and it is able to throw a lot of uh, inferences and imagine what it can do if you give pointed prompts for analysis, you can come out with great results. Since Bollinger Band is my favorite, can you please give more inferences from the Bollinger Band analysis? Wonderful, wonderful. It gives a calculation how the middle, upper and lower band is arrived. It says the current price is so and so. And it is sharing different scenarios of breakout, reversal scenarios. Cool. So we now close this video on the image recognition capabilities. In the future videos will definitely look on each of this in depth with structure prompt to gather specific inferences from the inputs this is just to show the capability of what the tool can do. So thank you very much for staying till here. We will soon connect in the next video.